name is Shannon Cook, and I am a hydrogeologist, uh, environmental hydrogeologist. Uh, in water, there's hydrology, and then there's hydrogeology. Hydrology is surface water, and hydrogeology is groundwater. Uh, well, they're similar in the sense that it's you know water. It often depends on water quality. Um, but there's also the uh, interaction of the surface water with the ground, you know, infiltrating through the soil, uh, such as with the, the pond here, you have intera interaction with the ground. Uh, similarly with hydrogeology, whereas you have groundwater and its interaction with the surface water. So you have like the water table and how it interacts with the pond or the different water layers or uh, rivers, for instance. You know, you actually have groundwater that either flows into the river or, or water that flows out of the river into the ground. I've always had a love of rocks, and uh, I've always had a love of water, so I just kind of went and combined the two. Fortunately, someone else already combined the two, and, you know, and I found it as a hydrogeology, and I received a bachelor's in geology, a bachelor of science, and then I also uh, got a master's of science in uh, hydrogeology. For me, I get to work from home, have a great job, and uh, there's different aspects of the hydrogeologist uh, or hydrologist. Um, uh, there's field work, so if, if you like to do field work, you might just, uh, I would just recommend getting a bachelor's in science, but if you want to do more of analyst work, um, more problem solving, conceptualization or characterization of, uh, of, of, your, um, of your site, then I would recommend getting a master's of science. Uh, but so my basic, or my, uh, my day is usually I just get up and um, I do a lot of, uh, have several sites I'm working on currently, uh, all have different unique situations or problems, um, and I analyze groundwater data from wells, people send me data, um, I create graphs, concentration versus time, um, just try to find out, I, I, I mainly try to conceptualize or characterize the contamination within a site, and then I find out the best way to remediate it, you know, to clean it up, uh, which is, you know, the best way to clean it up, but also, uh, make it uh, feasible for the client to pay. Good parts are just being able to uh, uh, clean groundwater. Uh, instances where I go to uh, contaminated groundwater sites where the groundwater is bad and um, it has the possibility of migrating off-site to residential areas or someplace like that or wherever there's someone has a well or something um, or before it reaches a river just being able to clean up that groundwater before it can get to a uh, before the contamination can spread any further. Somewhat unfortunately, but fortunately, there's contaminated groundwater everywhere. Um, so within Ohio, if someone wants to stay in Ohio, there's uh, plenty of jobs. There's a, uh, one of the headquarters for EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, is in Cincinnati. You can get a government job, such as with the Ohio EPA or uh, Ohio Department of Natural Resources, if you want to go more government regulatory. Um, you can also go more of a private sector, such as with uh, local consultant firms. Uh, or environmental consulting firms, um, you know, that aspect. And then you, you can also go stay in academia and do research for different uh, institutions. In high school, it'd be uh, just sciences. It's for your hydro, uh, for hydrogeology or hydrology. Um, earth sciences, uh, I don't know if you can get geology. Uh, math is also important. I know some people don't like to hear that, but uh, it is an important aspect, especially in hydrogeology for calculations of groundwater movement. I would just get into geology, get into the basics of geology first, um, kind of read up on your own, walking around, uh, thinking, you know, seeing how the landscape is, imagine uh, how the water table flows underneath just by looking at the landscape, you know, sometimes the first water table really uh, mimics the topography of the land, and then look at streams when you're walking, look at rivers, you know, imagine, you know, do you think water is flowing into it or do you think water is flowing out, and, you know, just kind of walk around with an objective mind. And, analyze nature best you can.